Hello everybody, Nick Agnetti here with Ascendia USA. So this week's been a busy week. Just got back from earlier in this week from the Parcel Forum in Nashville, uh, which is a great show. Uh, some resounding themes centered around carrier optimization and efficiencies, warehouse automation, uh, more tech enablement and efficiencies, as well as just overall, uh, you know, a lot of tech TMS, uh, inventory management and things of that nature, which are themes that we have explored in years past as well. Um, now, it was a great show, uh, really happy to connect with industry friends, acquaintances, and meet some new folks as well. A couple other things that happened this week or in the last week and a half or so was the announcements from FedEx and UPS surrounding the 2024 GRI, but also a little bit, uh, which piqued my interest a little bit more, was the demand surcharges uh, that came from specifically FedEx. So interestingly enough, we know that right now we're not anywhere near the capacity issues that we had in 2021, uh, half of 2020, 2021, right? But we're still putting out, not we, FedEx is still putting out significant demand surcharges, including added, you know, mandatory residential, extended, uh, size issues, volume issues, et cetera. I think we all know right now, the majority of folks in this country, especially e-commerce shoppers, are really sensitive to every cost right now due to the significant rise of inflation, a uh, significant increase in per package shipping costs, whether that's domestic and international, which is why I'm talking to you about this today. So we at Ascendia have worked diligently to really create a network where, for instance, in our Canadian delivery network, you know, customs clearance is included in the logistics costs we present to our shippers, uh, to our partners, if you will, our online retailers, 3PLs, marketplace sellers that are our clients. And we know that every ship, every recipient out there, every online buyer is sensitive to cost in general, whether that's the cost of merchandise, shipping costs, et cetera. So we don't have any demand surcharges. We don't have any, um, you know, these peak surcharges, if you will. Uh, but what we do present to you is a very transparent pricing and logistics costs uh, in, in a very simplistic way. And we want to help in terms of increasing shopper conversions as it relates to international, increasing the, you know, improving the customer experience. And that's really where our focus is. So we know that, and, and also we're never gonna bark at you if you're gonna pump more volume in our network. Please do, we would really appreciate that. So ultimately, if you're struggling right now to look at how are we gonna manage some of this surcharge overkill and or looking at, hey, we're getting into strategic planning for Q1 2024, we want to get there with you. We want to talk it through and, uh, you know, message, call, email, but let's get there together.